our English teaching on the order of words, the correct order of words. That if you learn in English, one of the most important things that you need to know is the correct order of words. How to put your words in order, the sequence, the step by step. If you are writing grammar, if you are writing English, if you are writing sentences, how are you going to put that? What is the sequence? What is the order that your words will follow? Now, the normal order, the correct order that your words will follow will be to put the subject first, put the subject, after the subject you have the verb, and then the object. Subject plus the verb plus the object. So you see the order that is going to take. Subject, after you put your verb, and then the object. That is the sequence or the order that your words will follow. If you want to write correct English, if you want to write correct grammar. Now we are going to look at the basic rules. We are going to look at seven rules. We are going to look at the basic rules that you have to observe while putting your words in order. The order of words. While putting your subject of, and verb and object. What are the rules? Important principle that you have to follow. Let's look at rule one. In rule one, the object is usually placed immediately after the verb. The sub object is usually placed immediately after the verb. So you place the object, put the verb, and then the object is placed immediately after the verb. Immediately after the verb. That is the first rule. Let's look at some examples. The object speaks swahili the object the object the object look at the verb after the verb the object follows immediately after the verb that is the object the verb the object so the object is usually placed immediately after the verb verb speak swahili the object so you see the, that is the subject, then you have the verb, you have the object. That is how you place that. So here you can have, they speak Swahili very well. Look at the second example. You have the subject, you have the verb, and then you place the object. Lamin goes to market on Sunday, Saturday. Lamin goes to market on Saturday. Look at the subject, look at the verb, and then you have the object on Saturday. Lamin goes to market on Saturday. On Saturday. So you see the object, the verb, the subject, verb, object. The object, the object. Following immediately after the verb. Let's go to rule two. The second rule. The indirect object usually comes before the direct object without a preposition. The indirect object. The indirect object usually comes before the verb, the direct object. Without a preposition. The in that, this is the object, subject, we've seen that. This is the subject. Now you see the object. This is the verb, the verb. So the moment you have the verb, the moment you have the subject, the subject, then you have the verb, the verb, we say the indirect object usually comes before usually comes before the 
object without a preposition. Without a pre so you don't see you don't see the preposition here. You don't see in there. There is no in there. There is no on there. Whatever. Unlike here. Okay. Unlike there, the prepositions are here. Now we say rule two. The indirect object usually comes before the direct object. Usually comes before the direct object. The direct object. The direct object. The direct object. The indirect object comes before the direct object. So this is the direct object. That direct object. This is the indirect object. Then it comes before the direct object. The indirect object coming before the direct object. But then you have the subject and that. So you have the subject, the subject, then you have the verb, the verb, the indirect object, the indirect object coming before the direct object without a preposition. No prepositions are here. So in that case, you have James gave the book, gave her the book, and we sent them the mobile. We sent them the mobile. So you see. Rule number two, the indirect object. The indirect object usually comes before the direct object. Usually comes before the direct object. The indirect object usually comes before the direct object. And that is what we see there. So, you see the first two rules in the order of words. Remember the order is subject first, the the verb, the object. That's that. And so, you see the rule. Let's go through that. Rule one. The object is usually placed immediately after the verb. The object is placed immediately after the verb. The object is placed, this is the subject, that is the subject. The object is placed immediately after the verb. The object is placed immediately after the verb. So you have, they speak Swahili very well. Lamin goes to market on Saturday. Rule number two. The indirect object usually comes before the direct object without a preposition. Look at the indirect object. Indirect object coming before the direct object, the direct object without a preposition. There is no preposition here. There is no preposition here. And so you have James gave her the book. We sent them the mobile. We sent them the mobile. And so the first two rules in the order or sequence of words in grammar. If you like our video, please share, subscribe, and give us a thumbs up. Follow us as we go to the third and fourth rules.